Hey, what's up, guys? It's Fisherman Jay here, and today I'm bringing y'all how to make a minnow trap using a two-liter bottle. First thing I do is make sure it's empty, and make sure it's clean and empty and everything, and uh, put some water in it, clean it out, take the wrapper off of it, and make sure it's almost invisible. See, and there's two ways you can make these. You can take, you can use two, you can use two two liter bottles. You can take one, cut the end off one, then cut the bottom off one, take the end you cut off and put it there. Or you can make sure you can take it and unscrew it and get the fish out of it. Or you can just take it, cut it, flip it around and shove it in there. But that's like the difficult one. So today I'm teaching y'all how to make the um, first choice I said. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take your second bottle, take that one, get your knife, and you're going to want to make and measure it right there where the top is. Then you want to take it and just cut it all around. So I'll get back to y'all whenever I got the top cut off. Alright, so I'm done cutting it. You can see took it and I just cut it all around. This is what I got. You got the top, and then you got the leg. You got a screw and take off. Good on that. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the other bottle and cut the bottom off. All right, the good line is cut the bottom off. So I'll get back to y'all. See, like right, right there. I'm gonna cut all the way around, and then you're gonna. Uh, I'll get back to y'all whenever I'm done with that. All right. Okay, so now I'm done with that. You see, I I cut the bottom off. Okay. Bottom is no more. And then now you're gonna take this, and bam! Look at that. That was the perfect fit. Bam. And the next thing you're going to do is you can either use like 50 pound test line of fishing string or today I'm going to be using paracord. Because paracord would be a whole lot easier. It would hold it in there a lot better and if anything ever happens you should get into it a lot easier. See, so I'm using paracord. So, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to grab a nail and pliers. If you don't have pliers, you can use your finger, but you will get burned, so beware. And you're going to take a lighter, and you're going to heat the tip of the nail. Heat the tip of it. Then with that, you're going to take it, and these two, and then you're going to hold it in there, and then you're going to take it, and you're going to melt it through the both sides all the way around until you have about eight in there eight holes in there then that's when you take your paracord my paracord is missing oh here it is take your paracord and you're going to tie it in the middle holes and i will show y'all the steps whenever i get the lighter heated all right guys so as you can see here i have finished it may look good i stabbed I stabbed holes in the side and everything to make it where it will go right in the water. Caps off, they're tied together. Then I tied string up here where I can toss it into the water and it will sink down and be done with it. So, uh, remember if you like this video, like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and tell me down in the comment section if you like this and if you had any luck using it. Bye, thank you all for watching. Up, guys? Fisherman Jay here. So, I made a minnow trap today, and I'm going to go check. And I'm outside right now. I'm going to go check and see if I got any minnows in it. It's right up there at that little creek. So, let's go check and see. Someone hit a buzzard here the other day. It's pretty gross, but I guess the way life is. But. Smells bad. It smells terrible. There's the buzzard. 
see it all. There's the buzzard. There's my minnow trap. Uh, let's see if I got anything. I'll get back to y'all. And see. you can see right there that I'm getting wet. There is a minnow in it. It's only been here about five minutes. This is how I get all my bait for fishing. Make these traps and I put, I bait it with bread. So now I think I'm gonna leave it out here until dark and I'm gonna come out here and check it right there before dark and see how many I get. And then I will also post that video. All right, see, so y'all can see what I got. He's right there and then watch this, bam. He falls right out into the uh, trap well. And I've been trapping him for a while. Oh, he's the biggest one I got in here. He's right there. There he is. I also got some more in here. There's another one. I got four total in here. I got four total in here. So I'm gonna go get some more bait. And I'm gonna put some more bait in that. And I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna throw it in the water overnight. Not overnight, until it gets dark. And I got about two hours before it gets dark. And I'm gonna leave it in the water for two hours until and I'm gonna go check it. I'm gonna go back and check it right there before dark. See how many I got in there. Really, man? I left my trap out overnight and you can see all the fish I got in there. Jeffrey, don't do that to them, man. That's your <laughs> kill. You can't do that to them. Damn.